Astronomers just discovered an alien spaceship in Kuiper Belt. Following its spectacular Pluto flyby, the New Horizons mission turned its cameras to the Kuiper Belt and witnessed a small object floating across space. Something is moving in space, and NASA's New Horizons spacecraft observed it crawling through the void. A brief animation depicts a moving object in the Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune's orbit going about its business against a backdrop of stars. Could this be an alien spaceship? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today, we will be taking a look at an alien spaceship found floating in the Kuiper Belt. Make sure to stick till the end of this video as we have a lot to cover. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video. It helps a long way. Dave Jewett and Jane Liu of the University of Hawaii discovered 199 2QB1, a small object orbiting the Sun beyond Neptune at a distance of approximately 40 astronomical units in 1992. Ever since, more than 3,100 similar objects with orbits beyond Neptune have been revealed, and scientists estimate that there are hundreds of thousands of objects larger than 20 miles across in that vast region of the solar system waiting to be discovered. The swarm of bodies is known as the Kuiper Belt, after Dutch-American astronomer Gerard Kuiper, who proposed the existence of small bodies beyond Neptune in the 1950s. Some refer to this as the Edgeworth-Kuiper Belt, after Irish scientist Kenneth Edgeworth, who published a similar idea in the 1940s. This realm's inhabitants are known as the Kuiper Belt Objects, or KBOs, or Edgeworth-Kuiper Belt Objects, or simply Trans-Neptunian Objects, or TNOs. Most short-period comets found in the inner solar system are most likely from the Kuiper Belt, or they are held in cold storage until spontaneous gravitational tugs from Neptune nudge them inward. The IAU's Minor Planet Center at Harvard's Smithsonian webpage contains the most up-to-date information on KBOs, which includes plots of their current positions and properties of various far-off minor bodies. Our understanding of the outer solar system has been drastically altered by the finding of the Kuiper Belt. Even Pluto, the largest KBO, is now considered by many astronomers to be a huge comet. We should expect additional surprises as observations continue to bring more of these far-off objects into view. And just recently, NASA spacecraft discovers roving object in the far-off Kuiper Belt. The animation is made up of four frames taken one hour apart. The images were captured by New Horizons Long Range Reconnaissance Imager on November 2nd, and NASA released the compilation on Thursday. The image quality is such that we on Earth should have a great time fantasizing about far-flung possibilities. It appears to be a grainy shot of a UFO. What's happening is that the Kuiper Belt is densely packed with asteroids, comets, and small icy bodies, and this moving object is one of them. The object was identified as 1994 JR1 by NASA. A 2012 scientific paper published in the Monthly Notices Letter of the Royal Astronomical Society identifies 1994-JR1 as an accidental quasi-satellite of Pluto, which means it stays relatively close to the dwarf planet but does not orbit it like a moon. Rather, it revolves around the Sun. Pluto, with a diameter of 1,473 miles, is still the largest object in the Kuiper Belt. In comparison, Earth has a diameter of about 8,000 miles. The latest object of interest discovered by New Horizons is only 90 miles wide. The size of the 1994JR1 is one of the things that makes the short animation so intriguing. When the images were taken, it was 170 million miles away from New Horizons. This sets a record by at least a factor of 15 for the closest ever image of a small body in the Kuiper Belt, NASA says. New Horizons was launched in 2006 with the goal of studying Pluto, culminating in a spectacular flyby of the dwarf planet on July 14th. NASA scientists are wishing for a mission extension that will allow them to send the spacecraft down deep into the Kuiper Belt to investigate other objects in the region. Other astronomers also claim that aliens are living in the Kuiper Belt. They claim that they could see light coming from their cities. When it comes to looking for ET, current efforts have almost entirely focused on picking up a radio signal, which is only a small portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. Take into account how much lighting we produce on Earth and how our night side might appear through a telescope on another planet. If we can presume that alternate civilizations will evolve while enjoying natural lighting, isn't it possible that they will also develop artificial lighting sources? 
Is it possible for us to see artificially illuminated objects out there in space? The answer is yes, according to a new study conducted by Abraham Loeb of Harvard and Edwin L. Turner of Princeton. Up to a certain distance, the array of earthly telescopes now available to science can confidently observe a light source comparable to overall brightness to a large city. Astronomers can now measure the orbital parameters of Kuiper Belt objects with extreme precision by observing their flux and computing their changing orbital distances. Is it possible, however, to see light if it occurs on the dark side? According to Loeb and Turner, current optical telescopes and surveys would be able to detect this amount of light at the edge of our solar system, and observations with large telescopes can measure a KBO spectra to determine if it is illuminated by artificial lighting using a logarithmic slope. Sunlit objects would exhibit alpha equals minus 4, whereas artificially illuminated objects should exhibit alpha equals minus 2. Loeb and Turner write in their paper, Our civilization uses two basic classes of illumination, thermal, that's incandescent light bulbs, and quantum, light-emitting diodes like LEDs and fluorescent lamps. Such artificial light sources have spectral properties that differ from sunlight. Because such emission would be extremely rare in the natural thermodynamic conditions present on the surface of relatively cold objects, the spectra of artificial lights on distant objects would most likely distinguish them from natural illumination sources. As a result, artificial illumination may serve as a beacon, indicating the presence of extraterrestrial technologies and thus civilizations. The team is optimistic that current telescopes and surveys could discern the artificial light from a reasonably brightly illuminated region approximately the size of a terrestrial city located on a KBO. Finding this illumination difference in the optical band would be challenging, but by calculating the observed flux from solar illumination on Kuiper Belt objects with a typical albedo, the team is able to estimate the observed flux from solar illumination. Although the light signature would be less strong, it would still contain the spectral signature, which is a dead giveaway. However, given how gloomy and chilly it is there, we currently do not anticipate any thriving civilizations to exist at the farthest reaches of our solar system. However, Loeb has proposed that it's possible that planets that were expelled from other parent stars in our galaxy may have gone to the edge of our solar system and ended up residing there. The question of whether a civilization would endure an ejection event from its parent system and then build lampposts is debatable. The search for extrasolar planets may be improved with the aid of the next generation of optical and space-based telescopes, and preliminary broadband photometric detection may be enhanced with the help of narrowband filters tuned to the spectral characteristics of artificial light sources like LEDs. Why rule it out when such a scenario in a far-off world would require much more light pollution than even we produce? Finding proof of current or previous life outside of Earth, assuming such life has ever existed, is the main objective of astrobiology. But along the road, innumerable puzzles about planets and moons, solar systems, galaxies, and the structure of space between them will undoubtedly be encountered and hopefully solved. In the end, finding extraterrestrial life can only be done in conjunction with research into the structure, dynamics, history, and numerous undiscovered wonders of the cosmos. And that ends our episode. We hope you enjoyed our video. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below your own thoughts. And don't forget to like today's video, and we'll see you in the next one.